Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Josh Warrington and Dillian White, where are they at in their careers? Well we've got Josh Warrington haven't we, right? Was a world champion, Dillian's not a world champion. Dillian's won a vacant British title against uh, Ian Lewinson. So, who turned up looking like Michelin man? Dillian's beat Lucas Brown and Joseph Parker. Lucas Brown were 40 year old, former regular champion. Joseph Parker, former WBO champion in a fight I thought Ruiz beat him, but it was in New Zealand. Parker lost to Joshua. His claim to fame is he took Joshua to points. Dillian White got knocked out by Joshua, although he had a bit of success in one at rounds. And he went into the fight injured, so we can't be too harsh on Dillian. He nearly closed the show, didn't he? But, and there's a big but here, Dillian White's had four pay-per-views. He's had ample opportunity to fight for the world title. He could have fought Joshua at Wembley for four belts, 90,000 sellout, in a rematch with intense beef. Instead, he fought Oscar Rivers. Andy Ruiz ended up going and taking... Taking the belts, didn't he? We know what's happened after that, don't we? He didn't want to fight Wilder. Made loads of noise with WBC, but they've never served solicitors' letters on the WBC, have they? Other people have threatened legal action and gone through with it to these governing bodies, sanctioning bodies, whatever you want to call them. Dogs, they are. Dog bodies. Dillian White's never took legal action. Why? Because he's been happy to get pay-per-views for fighters that are not A, A grade. He's been fighting C plus fighters and getting, or B minus fighters, maybe C plus, and getting good money. And being told the Joshua fight's always there and blah de blah. Dillian White's next birthday, he's 33 year, he's 33. So he's in his 33rd year. He could have missed the boat. He might have missed the boat. Now, as far as I'm concerned, badly advised. Badly, badly advised. He's like Eddie Earn's spare wheel that he goes to. That's how I look at it. Badly advised, but he's had four pay-per-view. That's more than Carl Froch. It's unbelievable what's going on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then we've got... Josh Warrington, English, British, Commonwealth, European, world champion, 30-0, 4-0 in world title fights, and he's beat more world champions than Dillian, Kiko Martinez, he's beat Lee Selby, Carl Frampton, I mean, they're better than going life and death with Parker, aren't they? Although some tough rounds him against Frampton, but... Josh Warrington's, and, and he's had one pay-per-view, and that were on uh, BT, wasn't it? So, but do you know what the common denominator in all this is? The common denominator in all this, right? Dillian White's hanging out of the back of IFL, isn't he? And vice versa, IFL are hanging out the back of him. Josh Warrington, he's not bothered about all that, is he? He's a proper Yorkshireman, isn't he? He comes out gets a win and he does the business doesn't he now is this where boxing's heading because you're not controversial on IFL or other media outlets you've got to be seen to be selling yourself Josh Warrington's not into all that is he are too many fighters more bothered about getting on YouTube and getting themselves out there than actually going and getting a belt I mean Dillian White's been presented with the Pulev fight in Bulgaria. He went to purse bids. The Bulgarians won the purse bid and Dillian White pulled out. So why let it go to purse bid? Why do that if you're not going to fight? It's craziness. It's crazy. You can't have it all your own way. You've got to come out of your comfort zone. You if you already came out of his comfort zone, didn't he? What? 23, 24 year old, four weeks after a bad cut against Bacoli. I know about that cut, I was there. So, point I'm trying to make is this. 
Is this where boxing's heading? Is it now becoming a circus? I mean, they're talking about that Eddie Hall fighting some strong bloke from Iceland or something. Did anybody ever see that sparring that Yui Fury did with Eddie Hall? He punched him upside down, smashed him to bits, made him quit. Why would why would, why would do we want to see that on on a pay per view platform? Eddie Hall against some some whatever. I mean, what what next? We've had Logan Paul KSI. What about boxers getting paid? What about kids turning pro and getting the chances? We don't want to see that. We don't want to see Mike Tyson Holyfield. They're pushing 60 year old with grey beards. We don't want to see it. We don't want to see Shannon Briggs walking around saying, let's go champ. Shannon Briggs, you're a chump. We want to see kids coming through and getting their opportunities. So that's my opinion on it all anyway. I wish Dillian White all the best. I don't mean to dig him out, but he needs to lay off that YouTube because he's just digging in themselves. They're digging themselves in holes all the time. Just go about your business and be a f Whatever happened to I'm a fighter and I fight, eh? Instead of all this social media nonsense. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Andy Patterson, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, Andy Patterson. Rob Kelly, pick up the phone. Get my number off Mr. Wellens or Ozzy Smith. Oh, I'm going to stick text off Steve Wellens this morning. Alright, so peace out.